Below my feet is a hidden body of water, trapped by at least one confining layer of clay or rock. Actually, it's likely there are multiple layers of water and clay or rock below the surface. It's called a confined aquifer, the first basic concept of groundwater we're covering in this series of videos. A confined aquifer is a geologic formation, sediment, or rock that contains a body of water trapped within sediment underneath the ground by at least one confining layer. A confining layer is a layer of clay or rock that water has a very hard time passing through. For example, this could be a layer of clay or shale. Because of this confining layer, water in a confined aquifer is usually under pressure since it is caught between two confining layers. So when breached by a well, for example, water will flow upward, sometimes even to the surface. For this reason, confined aquifers are often called artesian aquifers. There are two types of confining layers, one called an aquitard, which generally refers to a layer that slows but does not completely stop water from passing through. The other is called an aquaclude, which is a layer that is impermeable or does not allow any significant amount of water to pass through. So how does water get into a confined aquifer if it has a hard time passing through a confining layer? In these aquifers, some water does come through the confining layer. However, this process can take hundreds of years. Most water finds its way into the aquifer through an unconfined area, usually much further upslope from where we'd like to put our well, and travels for hundreds or thousands of years through the sediment to where our well is. To learn more about groundwater, keep watching our series on groundwater basics. Thanks for watching. Thank you.